your favorites and first of all I want to apologize <laughs> for my crazy hair I look a little flustered because I just came back from shopping with my mom we went out to eat and my brother too we went out to eat and then we did a little bit shopping together and I look a little crazy because the wind was in my hair and yeah so <laughs> that's why I look a little crazy so that's the reason why but today I want to talk to you about my June favorites and I don't have that many beauty products because I don't usually wear that much makeup well as much makeup as I do um like during the um, cooler um, months so um, usually what I'll just wear is just like a powder foundation some mascara a little bit of eyeliner and those don't really tend to change but what does change is like my lip products and also like my cheek products so that's what I want to share with you today and the first thing that I want to talk about is this Revlon Just Been Kissable Balm Stain and this one is in the color Love Sick I absolutely love these um, these I absolutely love these um, balm stains only because they don't dry out your lips, they last for a really really long time and they come in a lot of different shades and they're very opaque. You could all, you could um, tone them down to just by putting just maybe um, one coat on but you can intensify the color by adding more coats and it looks really really pretty. I am obsessed with these. I went out and got three more. Um, but this one is my absolute favorite one. And I also like that you don't have to sharpen it. It just scrolls up like this and it stays on for hours and hours. Um, if you guys like the lip butters by Revlon then you guys, this is just much better than the lip butters because it actually lasts as where the lip butters don't really last um, that long. And I also wanted to talk about um, this Tarte blush and this is um, called Doll Face. And my friend Rhonda here on YouTube, her username is .lash. She sent me this in the mail a um, not that long ago and I absolutely love it, especially for this time of the month because um, usually, you know, we're out in the sun and we have like sun, we have sunburn like on our cheeks or anything like that or just a little bit red and this actually makes it look pretty. It looks like a blush. It does not look like you're burned on your face um, and it's just like a really pretty pink color and I like to pair these two colors up. Um, a lot. So these have been my favorite. And then I also want to share this Laura 3D Liquid Luster with you guys. What it is, is just like a, a glittery or like a shimmery um, glitter. And it, I bought it from Sephora. And what I like to do is because I don't wear that much makeup during the summer, I like to put just some um, the same eyeshadow that the same color eyeshadow that I'm wearing with like my clothes. Like right now I'm wearing like a minty green, and this is more like a turquoise. I put it just underneath my eyes to give me, you know, because I wanna I wanna have fun in the summer with like colors because everything's like so bright and fun. <laughs> I want to put just some kind of color on my eye. So I just put it as an eyeliner. I put some um, eyeshadow underneath my eye and then I will go ahead and put this underneath it and it just intensify the, intensifies the color and it shimmers really really pretty in the sunlight. So I like that. And then I also want to talk about the Sally Hansen um, nail stickers and I don't have the actual box. I forgot where I left it. I think I threw it away but I got a question on Instagram if they do last for a long time and yes they do. This is uh, It's already been over a week and even though it is chipping at the end it has stayed on my um, nails for a really long time. If you don't have really long nails you can cut, cut one in half and then um, still have another use for them later on. So I really like those and they're kind of pricey but I think they are worth it if you do like the stickers. Um, or the cool nail designs on your nails. And I also want to talk about this e.l.f. small angled brush and I really really like it. Um, what what I usually use on my as my eyeliner is a cream eyeliner. Mine's from Clinique. I dip it into my cream eyeliner and then I go ahead and I put it on my eyes and this brush is amazing. If you guys haven't found like a good brush um, to use for a cream eyeliner or anything like that. I highly recommend this one by e.l.f. and it's like three dollars. It's not as great as my Sigma Small Angle E65 um, eyeliner brush but um, as you can tell, I'll show you guys, it's almost the exact same size and I absolutely love this brush a lot. So this is a good alternative for this one when this one is dirty. And last but not least, I want to talk about Sigma because um, they saw my video on um, my Sigma review and how one of my brushes, my, what is it called? My large powder F30 shed a lot and that's the reason why I didn't use it and I didn't like it. And to me, customer, customer service is one of the most important things about a company. Actually, one of, yeah, it's one of the most important things about a company I work as you know I'm in management and I do deal with that a lot you know with customer service and it reflects a lot on your company I was very pleased and I was very satisfied that after watching that video on how my brush shed a lot they noticed that it was effective and they went ahead they went ahead and they sent me 
another one and they apologized you know for the inconvenience and they were very nice and I just want to thank Sigma so much for sending me another one because my other one was defective. Now I did buy those brushes on my own with my own money so I really appreciate that they went ahead and they sent me one because the ones that I did buy with my own money, um, one brush was defective and I'm pretty sure not only because I am a YouTuber they're going to do that, but if you are any kind of um, customer, you know, regardless you made videos or not, they will go ahead and take their time to treat you just as well. So I really do appreciate that um, because I know I have a friend who is not a YouTuber and she had a problem with one of her one of her set. I don't remember what the problem was, but Sigma went ahead and I, they, handled, they handled it in a very timely manner and... and I think it's great. So I just want to say thank you and I do use my large um, powder brush, my F30, and I do love it. It really picks up the product really well so I am very, very happy. So thank you for that and I also wanted to go ahead and thank you guys so much for sending me the pictures on Twitter and my Instagram and on e and emails that I've been getting um, of things that you guys have recreated or things that I've inspired you to do because I really, really, really do appreciate that. It means so much to me when you share something like that with me because it just motivates me that much more to make videos and to come up with new ideas and it's I just want to thank you guys so much it really means so so much to me your amazing feedback you guys are always so nice to me and I can't thank you enough thank you so much for being so sweet and so, so I want to share the pictures with you guys and I will do this at the end of my monthly f favorite at the end of the month during my monthly favorite videos and regardless they are from really old videos back in the day that I've made I will still put them put them up because I just want to thank you. So thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.